rock and roll and adventure comedy. Unknown to Mandy's friends, Brian, Lil, or her band. Mandy has the secret power to transform herself to Dot Dilmore. Mandy, while going through the personal effects of her late great-great-uncle, Mandy made a startling discovery. An innocent pair of spectacles found in an old head of uncles had the most spectacular effect. Ignoring the dying words of her late great-uncle, never wear other people's glasses, Mandy donned the spectacles. Life would never be the same. Panic. the past. Mandy was Dot, Dot was Mandy. And this is their story, a story of rock and roll hijinks and Mandy's quest for space. Tonight's episode, Bark Like Rover. This is WBRT, bringing you the sounds of coffee. Dr. Welby, or we'll have to have you decaffeinated. Your side is dull, plain, and boring. Our side is rich, full-bodied, and it has an aroma. Now, which side do you prefer, Mrs. Dr. Welby? This side. Yes, definitely this side. Do you know what's in this box? No, but if you tell me, I'll buy it. It's Questola! Did that surprise you? It sure did. From now on, I'll stick with Crustola. No more garden brand porcelina for me or my family. Maybe it'll rain and just wash off. I'll check the weather. This is WEMP, all at a station. Today's euphoria. We've warmer than yesterday's despondency. We interrupt the weather to bring you a message about space travel. Main Street. Main. M I N S T R. You got it? Good. Okay, the whole band's gonna go to space. Bye. Who are these? You shouldn't wear other people's glasses. They're, They're not dots. yours. They're dots. You left them here. I should have known that PN. Dot Gilmore. Are you still friends with that freak? Yes, she's a very good friend. I'm in a hurry. I gotta go. Bye. Fill this out and get in line. Brian, you better wait over there. Mr. Swizzlestick. That's an unusual name. If you don't like it, 
just call me Dipstick. All my friends do. And what's your talent, Mr. Dipstick? Very heavy drinking. Oh, marvelous! Do you get dizzy and fall down a lot? Sure, all the time. Marvelous! Can you get really obnoxious? Well, it's not my best act, but I'm pretty good at it. If you insist. Sorry, honey. Some of us just weren't born for the stars. Next, please. I need one for Margot, one for Jerry, one for Erwin, eight, plus one for Lil, nine will do it. Nothing to it. Okay. I'd like to see Dr. Pratt. And who are you? A fellow scientist, Dr. Brian Brain, world famous asteroid. Of course, Dr. Brain. Dr. Pratt. Yeah. Send out the brain straight in. Oh, and would you boost the extra current generator up to mode 10? Yes, Dr. Pratt. Go right in, Dr. Brain. Good afternoon, Dr. Pratt. Well, good afternoon, Dr. Brain. Come right on. What can I do for you? I need nine tickets on the space shuttle for the research team I'm taking to Alpha Moon Base. Have a seat. Anything for a fellow scientist? You just come back from space? Well, why do you ask that? Well, you're still wearing your helmet. Yeah, it was Helen back. I ran into a very nasty meteor storm. That's why my own ship is in for repairs. Are you a vegetarian too? Uh, no. <laughs> Not a veterinarian. <laughs> you see, uh, I'm doing advanced research on the link between man and dog's vaccinating work. You see, it's not really a question of dog being man's best friend, but more a case of dog being man's best teacher. You see that dog up there? Used to be a mailman in Philadelphia. I demand 
man to know where he is. He was just in here a few minutes ago. I'm sorry, but no one by that description has been in here today. That's not the sort of people we deal with. He was just in here. You're lying. He came in here with me a few minutes ago. If you don't get out of here right now, I'll make sure you never work in this town again. Or anywhere in space, for that matter. I shall return. Yes, Dr. Pratt? Good afternoon. My name is Doc Dilmore. I'm a reporter, and I'm here to interview Dr. Pratt. Dr. Pratt? Send her right in. Oh, and you can turn down the auxiliary generator now. Yes, Dr. Pratt. Dr. Pratt! It's really you! <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and you're really Connie. <laughs> yes, of course, Dr. Pratt. Uh, it's me, Connie. Uh, good, good. Get back to work. Well, you're certainly very, uh, how shall I say it? Uh, very with it, uh, a rather groovy reporter. You're pretty fab yourself. One of the real swingers of science. Well, thank you, Doc Dillmore. You can call me Doc. Just plain Doc will do. Yes, Doc. Doc. We'd like to do an in-depth profile on you and your work, Dr. Pratt. A deeply serious probing article. Do you wear pajamas? Yes, I do, Dad, Doc. Yes, I do, Doc. Yes, I do, Dad, Doc. I gotta do that. I gotta do that, Doc. Yes, I do, Doc. I gotta do that. I gotta do that, Doc. I gotta do that, Doc. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta, 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 gotta. Do you do that, Doc? Yes, Doc.
Ryan's been kidnapped. What's the ransom? $25? I wouldn't pay a penny more. He wasn't kidnapped for money. He's been kidnapped for some hideous medical experiment. That's surprising. Isn't he hideous enough already? Oh, I can't imagine what torture he's enduring right this minute. All right, Mandy, I'll help you. But not for Brian. For you. I got an impression of the key. We'll break in after sunset. Thanks, Mandy. I don't chew secondhand gum. It's not gum! It's an impression of the keys. We'll go after dark. I'll check and see when sunset is. This is WNEP, all weather station, all the world's weather all the time. Play Misty for me. Sunset is at 610, sunrise tomorrow at 555. That gives me a couple hours. I'll go get changed. OK. I'm ready. Are you going like that? Aren't you, aren't you dressing up at all? You've got enough junk on to outfit 10 of us. At least you better strap on a two-way wrist radio. We better practice. You take cover behind the couch. Bravo one to Bravo two, do you read? Bravo one to Bravo two, do you read? We're laying down mortar fire. Max section H4, coordinates Charlie seven. Bravo one to Bravo two? Do you read Bravo two? Mortar's coming your way. Lil, can I have a word with you? Come on, Mandy, use the two-way wrist radio. This is Bravo 1 to Bravo 2. You have very serious emotional problems. Psychiatric platoon on its way. Please hold mortar until you're committed. Request denied. Mortars commence firing. We're holding this position at all costs. We're under attack from all sides. You don't ever do that again, and that's an order. You scared me half to death. Lil, your costume is great. This Dr. Pratt is dangerously disturbed. I can handle it. I just hope we're not too late for Brian.
left, right, everything. You don't see anybody when you're going down the street. Yes, I thought you were working late this evening. And then I found the door open, and I was very concerned. Con oh, Connie, damn it, she forgot to lock up. Oh, Dr. Pratt, I couldn't wait to tell you. I love you. Oh, God. Look what I've got for you. Your own lab coat. I'm going to have it monogrammed D.O.T. The day you say you'll marry me. We'll be together till the end of time. A marriage consummated by science. I love a molecular miracle. This experiment seems to be working. It sounds just like an air deal. Oh, you really think so? It's taken me years of work. How did you ever do it? Well, the dog qualities are all stored in here. They come down these wires, into the crown, and they feed into the brain. Brilliant! It sounds like a case of reverse Pavlov. Exactly, Doc. When dog bites man, that ain't news. But when man is dog, you got headlines. <sighs> Who's this crown for? Huh? <laughs> German Shepherd Attack Dog. A brilliant program, 24 track feed in. It'll be a high honor for the person chosen for this seat. Huh? One small seat for man. One giant bar for mankind. And with our energies united in scientific matrimony, oh, Doc, there's no limit to what we can accomplish. Dobermans, poodles, spaniels, mastiffs, the kennels, the limit. Yes, united forever. A marriage without a dog's breath of scandal. Truly a crowning achievement. I'm coming in, Mandy. Take cover. All hell's gonna break loose. He'll be out for hours. You arrived just in time. I would have been here sooner, but I didn't know it was Dr. Pratt. He's not wearing a thin tie. That's what threw mm -hmm. me off. Mm -hmm. Look here. I'll bet Dot Dillmore is in cahoots with Dr. Pr Dr. Pratt. No, These she's not. Glasses. Don't you remember? It gave them to me this morning. Just haven't had time to return them to Dot. I'll still bet she's behind the kidnapping. Dot wouldn't do that. Dot would do that. Some space shuttle tickets to make this evening's venture worthwhile. Let's get out of this creep hole before we turn into moles. Don't forget Brian. That's what we came here for. Oh, yeah. How is he? He'll be okay. Manny, is that you? Yes, Brian. You're safe now. <coughs> What's that guy's problem? Oh, he's got a case of valvoitis. Oh. <coughs> remember anything, really. Clear skies over Montevideo, Uruguay. 57 degrees Fahrenheit. It's okay, Brian. You're safe now. It's sunny in Barcelona. It's really strange, but I feel really good. Better than ever. Hey, listen to this. This is WEMP, your all-weather station, all the world's weather all the time. Play Misty for me. Tomorrow's ecstasy will be colder than yesterday's regression. Now, a word from a road renal response. This is Dr. Julius Pratt speaking. Due to technical problems, woof, woof. all space shuttle flights have been grounded and tickets canceled. Woof, woof. There's too many ads. I wish they'd just stick to the weather. I think I have the same thing as Dr. Pratt. Woof, woof. Well, Brian, you'll just have to dance a spell away.